So PWR is now uh, 25 years old. It started out as a uh, bespoke manufacturer of uh, you know, performance automotive and, uh, and motorsport cooling solutions. We offer a lot of your, what you might consider to be conventional heat exchangers. We're supplying NASCAR, we supply World Rally Championship, MotoGP, all of the high-end motorsport categories around the world. The business has grown from what was fundamentally an automotive foundation of performance automotive and motorsport now to supply other market sectors such as aerospace uh, and defence. At PW well, we're on the forefront of advanced manufacturing technologies and additive manufacturing became clear as a potential option for manufacturing high performance heat exchangers. We looked at various different options for um, the different machines that, and their different options and we selected Velo as our um, best choice. They're the absolute top end of additive manufacturing options currently available on the market and they really allow us to uh, achieve things we couldn't achieve without additive manufacturing. So the Velo system allows us to do things that we simply could not do with other manufacturing technologies. The capacity to print a single part heat exchanges with using part consolidation allows us to produce complex parts with a single build. We can also produce complex internal geometries that could not be achieved by traditional methods and the ability again to combine our additive manufacturing with our traditional processes also means we can produce high performing complex parts that would not be available by other means. Due to the um, removed design restrictions, uh, due to the capabilities of the Velo Sapphire, we are able to produce geometries that we simply wouldn't be able to produce. And those are particularly relevant to heat exchanger applications. So a lot of our uh, designs require us to have uh, a whole lot of tubes with um, horizontal closures that we simply would not be able to produce by alternative machines. And it's the specific capabilities, particularly the ability to produce low inclination surfaces that is provided by the Velo system, that we are able to produce the components we produce for our high value customers. So we are one of the most advanced uh, printers of aluminium in the world. Uh, aluminium is what we've traditionally worked with and the fact that we print in aluminium allows us to again combine with other processes so we can tr produce uh, traditional cores and weld them or braze them to additive manufactured tanks. So we take the advanced, uh, the uh, complex geometries of 3D printed parts and combine them with the high performance of traditionally manufactured cores. Uh, we work very closely with Velo to uh, overcome some of the issues we've found with this material, but we're also looking to expand which materials we'd be working with. So we're also looking at Inconel and potentially titanium for high temperature applications, which are also more relevant to uh, areas we're moving into, such as aerospace and defence industries. Through working with Velo, we've uh, identified several areas for particularly improving the productivity of the machines and we're working closely with them to not only uh, improve the capabilities of the machines but also that production efficiency so that we can produce high quality components at a lower cost more rapidly using the same technology. We've had the machine now for three years and we're doing you know, weekly or fortnight, nightly updates with Velo and they've been a great partner with us. We're adding additive manufacturing uh, was quite an easy process for us where we could just integrate it seamlessly with what we already do, what we already offer, our existing kind of machines and technologies. Working with Velo and having that direct line to the applications engineers and their product team lets us um, sort of push the machine to what it, what it really can do. Velo 3D Sapphire, in my opinion, is a disruptive machine within a disruptive sector. The reason for that is it has a capability to manufacture geometries that just aren't possible, or I certainly haven't seen possible from any other manufacturer. Some of that is the fact that the Velo allows low build angle prints without support structure. On external geometries, that may not sound like such a big deal because you can easily remove those, but when you're dealing with internal geometries, such as a compressor volume, then it allows us to completely change the geometries and make them more efficient than they would be with other equipment.